Hey everybody, Cypher here, and uh, today I'm going to give you a little preview of uh, the cooking updates in WoW and some Farmville stuff. Now, a lot of it is going to be uh, just me guessing on what's going to happen, but when you see what I show you, then you might agree that uh, I'm pretty accurate with what I'm going to say. So. I'm going to start off here. This is the Half Hill Market. Now, Blizzard said this is going to be one of the HUDs. Uh, it definitely has a lot of cooking stuff happening here, and uh, it's going to have some Farmville stuff. So, first thing I'm going to show you is this girl here, um, Sung Shin Iron Paw. She's got two quests, and at least for the moment, it's going to give you cooking past uh, the current level. So. If I do this quest, it'll give me cooking up to 600. I'm not going to stand here and make five rice puddings as good as they might be, but that's that. Now, something that they're doing with cooking is they're splitting it up into different specializations. So, if any of you remember Burning Crusade, where pretty much all professions had specializations, that's how cooking is going to be. But from what I understand is you're not going to be limited to one, to just one. You're going to be able to do them all. But you're probably going to want to do the one that focuses on your stat first. So from what we have here, there is, uh, there's like four or five of them. This guy is Master of the Grill. So if I scroll down here, uh, you can see here, this guy is going to give you strength food. 300 strength black pepper steak. Uh, most of them have what they're going to give you. This is the master of the oven. There's one that doesn't. I'm not sure what their purpose is. This is stamina. So probably what tanks would get. Uh, this guy is master of the still. This guy, does. I don't know what, what his main purpose is. There's this thing here. Uh, restores 100,000 health, 100,000 mana over 10 seconds. <laughs> May induce delusions of grandeur. Not sure what that's going to do. Uh, but he doesn't have like a specific stat that I could see. Um, <laughs> Jade Brew or Jade Witch Brew causes massive headaches. Uh, maybe something fun. Who knows? Um, this is Master of the Walk. I think this is Agility. Yep, Agility. And we got Master of the Steamer. This is Spirit and. Master of the pot, not that pot. This is intellect. So those are the different specializations. Um, now, if you run over here, this guy is going to have something for Farmville. Not sure how Farmville is going to work for WoW. Uh, what we do know is they said that it's you're only going to be able to access your own. Not sure if they're going to eventually make it so you can let people into your instanced a farm if it e even is going to be instance but they have said that you can just see your own farm and that's it and it's gonna give you gifts that you can give to NPCs and such and I'll go into that a little bit later but this guy here um, Jogu the drunk temporary model it says uh, you can ask him what's what's uh, gonna happen with the crops tomorrow for and for 10 gold he's gonna tell you all right you got any mogu pumpkins in the ground if not you're going to be missing out so I'm assuming that if you have pumpkin seeds tomorrow they're gonna grow better or something um, take that for what it's worth but uh, yeah this guy's been here for a while and he's still here after like three or four patches so I assume he's gonna be permanent fixture and probably helpful for people trying to grow crops really well Alright, now uh, here's some quests a little bit north of the market in an area called the Heartland. This is one of the vendor or one of the person who gives you a quest, and she's got a bar up there with a heart. And I thought it was interesting. And if you hover over it, it says she thinks you're a stranger, and then it tells you items she likes. I think she likes lilies and something else. So I'm assuming that's stuff that you're gonna get as gifts from your farm. And um, I'm showing you this quest because this seems an awful lot like a daily quest, although there's no dailies on the, the beta just yet. So this one, she's going to tell you to run around and water her crops. Um, yeah, she's sending me to go do the carrots right now. you got to get 60 charges. She's going to yell at you if you stand in one place and do it. She's going to be like, stop being lazy. So you got to move around and uh, continue to do it. 
And there's a, this whole, just basically this whole area here is farms, and it uh, they have quests that are very dailyish. Um, there's another one where you have to kill these rodent rabbit things running around, also kind of dailyish. And there's an escort one, and then there's this one here, which is <laughs> you have to kill the weeds, and it starts off where you got to kill them with uh, by clicking them. As you can see me doing. I'm pretty sure everybody's uh, little weeds are phased for themselves because, like, I can't see the ones that these guys are doing. Uh, eventually, there's going to be smaller weeds. They're going to. You just have to run over those ones. And uh, then there's going to be vines that come out and start whipping you and stuff. And uh, this guy also has one of those uh, bars that you fill, it's got a little heart on the left. And I'm not sure what that's gonna give you. You know, when it when you fill it up, maybe they're gonna help you grow your crops. Uh, who knows? But uh, yeah, and um, it's pretty much all the NPCs in this area that you can actually have real conversations or do quests with have that. And uh, yeah, that was the preview for cooking and Farmville for Mr. Pandaria. Hope you like it. If you liked it, hit like, subscribe, and leave any requests. Thanks for watching.